In this video, I'm showing you how to add background music to the videos and also the best levels for background music in Adobe Premiere Pro software. First, import the footage and do the editing as you want. Now, select the audio file to which you want to add the background music. After that, select the Essential Sounds panel. If in case it is not visible to you, go to the window on the top and enable the Essential Graphics. Make sure it is in tick position, then only it is shown in the software. After selecting the audio clip, make it as a dialogue in the Essential Sounds panel. This is very important and many of the users forget to do this. If in case you want to make any changes in the audio, you can do. I already did all the changes, so I'm not doing anything right now. Now, add the music track below the audio track. Select the music track and go to the Essential Sounds panel now. Select the music option. Previously, we selected our audio clip as dialogue and now we are selecting the music clip as music. This is called audio tagging. We are telling the software which is dialogue and which is music. Or else you can select all the clips in the timeline and click on auto tag. Adobe Premiere Pro will take care of 99% time. Sometimes some errors will be there. Right after selecting the music option, you get some more options like this. Here you need to change only one thing which is ducking. First, enable this and choose Duck Against Dialog. Below that, some sliders are there that you can do the changes according to your requirements. Here, I keep all options as it is and I only change one thing which is the Duck Amount. By default, it is minus 18 decibels. DB is nothing but decibels. For each music track, the DB levels are different. I usually keep this in between minus 18 to minus 28, sometimes minus 30 also. Actually, what the software does is, if you select the decibel levels, for example, if you select at minus 20, that means the music track will hit maximum dB for minus 20. It won't cross that dB level. If you put that into minus 30 means, it won't cross minus 30 decibels. This is the simple and straight way that I can say to you to understand this concept. After that, some more options are there. You can increase or decrease the fade duration, fade position, etc. These all are self-explanatory and you change according to your needs. Finally, after all changes, click on generate keyframes. You can see the progress bar on the top side. After completion, a tick mark will appear. That's all. Now you added the background music for your video. Again, I'm telling guys, for each music, these decibels are going to change. That's why I told you the sweet spot is in between minus 18 decibels to minus 28, sometimes minus 30 decibels. Don't think these are the fixed values. This is just like a sweet spot. Always experiment with some trial and error. You get the perfect spot for your videos. If your dialogue level is low, then of course you need to decrease the music volume even lower than the values I told you earlier. So this is how you can add background music to your videos in Adobe Premiere Pro. I hope this video is really helpful for you to add beautiful music to your videos. If in case you have any doubts, feel free to comment. I reply for everyone. If you think this video is really helpful for you, don't forget to click that like button and also subscribe to this channel for more amazing video editing tips followed by gadget reviews, mobile reviews and more.